Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. It is middle of July, 2017. This is the Oculus Rift and this is the HTC Vive. Never done a comparison before because a lot of other people have done comparisons, but as time has gone on, things have changed and I just wanted to kind of touch on a few points and, and things that I've noticed. The Oculus Touch bundle has recently been dropped in price. It is now $399. That is a really good price. The HTC Vive is still more expensive. It comes in at $799 with Amazon Prime two-day shipping. Uh, however, there are a couple of gotchas there with the Oculus setup. If you don't want to do room scale, then that setup will will work. I mean, you know, you get a VR ready PC and you're just ready to go. If you do want to do room scale, you need a little bit more. In order to do room scale with the Oculus Touch, you need a third camera. $59 for the third camera from Amazon Prime. If you want a really clean setup that you don't have to mess with all the time, you probably want to wall mount those cameras. And uh, we, we bought you some wall mounts. Do you, do you like them? Yeah, yeah, they work really well, and you can also 3D print wall mounts if you want to go with, like, sticky tape and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so you've got a number of different options there. So you could go anywhere from, like, free if you've got the raw materials to if you can't mark up your wall and you don't want to use sticky tape because, you know, it might come off. Uh, you can buy these contractor poles. It's kind of like a clamp between the ceiling and the floor, and then you can mount your, your stuff on there. But um, what we bought you for your room is, uh, it's called Video Secu, and they're basically like CCTV camera mounts. And you get a two pack for $14.99. So uh, if you have to buy two of those, then altogether you're looking at like $487.98 for the Oculus Touch setup with room scale. That's still cheaper than $7.99 for the HTC Vive. However, you also need what, like an HDMI extension cable? Yeah, and a USB extension cable so that it'll actually hook up. With the Oculus, they're both connected, so you need two extension cables for one cord, I guess. Not only that, you're gonna need, for room scale Oculus, you're gonna need at least four USB ports, which, I mean, I guess my, my 6700K machine has four ports, but that's kind of pushing it, you know? Yeah. You might have to buy another hub or something to get that working, so. Something to keep in mind, those, you know, HDMI cable extensions in particular are not cheap. So that's price, right? Oculus is still winning, but it's closer than you think if you just look at like the default in your face price without room scale, right? But there are more factors to think about in this equation. So one of the things that, that may not be on your radar because really they, it hasn't been talked about much is trackers. So both Oculus and HTC Vive support trackers of some kind. All right, so this is the HTC Vive tracker with a belt clip so you can wear it on your waist. It's basically like a, like a third controller, but um, it doesn't have any buttons on it. So you just use it for positional tracking. Uh, I've got another video about how to mount these, but you can use them to, to track cameras in, in, if you're doing mixed reality. You can use them to track shoes if you want to do full, full body tracking, to track your waist if you just want to you know, be a news anchor at a desk or something like we're doing right now. I guess we could do this in VR if we wanted to. Both of them have this, but the Vive can track more objects. So I think the max with Vive is like 16 objects. So the headset would be one, one controller, two controller, both lighthouses. So that's five. And then you've got another tracker. You're only up to six, right? So like you've still got 10 more objects that you can track with the HTC Vive. Now I've heard that with the current software, once you go beyond about three trackers, it starts getting a little glitchy. It's just hearsay, I don't know. That's what I've heard. Uh, they might've fixed it by now. With the Oculus Touch, it's a different story. Uh, as far as I know, it only supports one additional controller right now. And they aren't nice little tracking pucks like this, like you actually have to buy another controller. I've heard that the Oculus tracking system is actually quite limited in bandwidth and it can't really support more, uh, but I also heard when the Oculus Touch came out that they would never support more than two controllers and they're supporting three now, so yeah. take that with a grain of salt. I mean, they, they might be able to work some magic with the protocol. If you think that you're gonna do full body tracking, 
I would highly recommend the HTC Vive because it, it comes today out of the box with support for full body tracking, if you want it. The third thing, third part of this VR equation is controllers. Um, out of the box today, again, this is July, 2017, mid-July, the Oculus Touch has the better controllers. Yes. The Vive controllers are these weird little wand things, and uh, I've had trouble with the touch pads on mine. They're, they're kind of finicky. Uh, people just don't like them as much as the, the Oculus Touch controllers. The Oculus Touch controllers are very polished. Now, they have issues. You know, the battery is like a double A. Yeah, it's um, really difficult to get out. It is. It's, it's a pain in the ass to move. And sometimes the magnets will get stuck, and it's, it's really hard to just get the cover off. The, the Vive has built-in lithium-ion batteries, and uh, you just charge it up with USB every night, and you're, you've always got a charge. And, like, yeah. commonly, I'll, I'll start up my Oculus Touch rig, and my left controller battery will be out, and I'll have to stop what I'm doing and go get another one. But ergonomically and, like, ease of use-wise, I would say that the Touch controllers win. They're nice. Also, the Vive controllers are, like, this big and they sort of poke out from your wrist. They're not quite that big. They're yeah. like they're like this long. Yeah, and then the, the Oculus <laughs> controller sort of just wraps around your hand. Right. Uh, but having said that, I know for a fact that HTC is working on um, new controllers called the Knuckles controllers. And just from what I've seen of them so far, they're going to blow the Oculus controllers out of the water. They're really cool. I'm not sure how much I can say about them because I'm not sure how much of what I know about them is based on the, uh, the developer program that I'm in. So uh, I'll, I'll just say that Knuckles is coming out in the near future and it's going to be awesome. So, uh, and then there's also, you know, there are like haptic feedback gloves that are being designed for the HTC Vive. I don't know if they will work with Oculus or not. They probably will, but I'm not sure. So there are all kinds of different things. It, it seems like the HTC Vive ecosystem is like more full featured. You know, it's got more accessories, more products. Well, well, it's it's by Steam. They have yeah, they have it's in their best interest. Though. It's in their best interest to do that. Um, I, I guess the other thing that I can talk about is the audio. The Oculus Touch comes with these nice headphones already built into the uh, the system, and the HTC Vive, as far as I know. It doesn't ship with the audio strap yet, does it? I don't think it does. Uh, maybe. There is a an audio strip of, audio strap available for the HTC Vive, but it's like a hundred dollar add on. So, you know, if if you either don't work with audio a lot, uh, which might be the case if you're a developer, or if um, you have another pair of headphones and you don't mind putting those on over top of the HTC Vive, then that's fine. But I would personally like to have the audio strap. I, I think it would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's convenient. I, I really like these because like, it's, it's just always there, and if you don't want to hear someone, you instead of it being like right here, you just flip it up or out. Yeah, it's and nice. And you can hear everything outside. It's just really, uh, it's just all there. Yeah, so um, as far as visual quality goes, I think they're pretty much the same. Uh, my... My HTC Vive rig is, uh, it's been abused, so it's nowhere near as nice as the, uh, the Oculus Touch rig, which is more lightly used, but that's not like a manufacturer issue. I've just, I've abused this one. They, okay. out of the box, they look pretty much the same. So um, that's really it. I mean, I, I, think, I think price, whether you need full body tracking or not, and whether you, you want knuckles, it, you know, is really... So those are really the three issues. Can, can you replace this, the foam on the keys? I know you can on the Vive. I don't know if you can you, on the Rift. You can buy like really, really puffy and squishy stuff like this. Uh, I don't know if they can. Yeah. So the HTC Vive has really squishy memory foam or whatever on this. And the Oculus is like stiff and thin. Yeah. But um, if you really don't like the Oculus, you can go to one website, I don't know what it is, and order it because it just pops out and you can wash it off or whatever and clean it easily. The HTC Vive is the same. They make leatherette pads instead of the foam. And so particularly, I, I visited a VR arcade in Atlanta recently. Uh, particularly that VR arcade 
put the leatherette on all of their units. They have like 12 HTC Vive units because it's it's easier to clean. You know, you don't want to be cleaning foam. Like the sweat just kind of collects in there and it starts yes. smelling awful. You can wash the foam on the Vive. I've done it numerous times and it, it works great. So um, anyway, in closing, either one is fine, but if you want full body tracking, maybe go with the Vive. Just saying. I will also say that uh, if you're buying either one of these, please do yourself a favor, buy yourself a 1080 Ti if you can afford it because you're already paying a premium for these headsets. Uh, the 1080 Ti will allow you to run 1.8 super sampling and your experience will just be that much better. Um, with shadows, the shadows help the best. With high quality shadows, yeah. yep, absolutely. Uh, you know, if you're buying one of these on the cheap, and you can't afford the 1080 Ti, maybe consider waiting a couple of months and saving um, because, especially if you're thinking about buying a 970. I mean, you just don't buy a 970. Anyway, that's it. Do you have anything else to add, Isaac? Uh, it seems like Oculus right now is getting a little bit more exclusives than the HTC Vive, but the HTC Vive still has a really large player base and uh, developer base. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.